Hello, welcome to my channel Networking with Nia Jarfin. In this video, I'm going to install Secure CRT in one of my server. So let's not waste time and do it with minimal speaking. So either you can go to vandyke.com and download the latest Secure CRT. In my case, I have already had that software in this server machine. So basically it's not a server machine, it's a Windows 10 machine and I'm going to install a monitoring system here. So that's why I need either Solar Putty or Secure CRT. So let's dive into that drive. And here is my Secure CRT. I can hit setup. Yes. Next. Okay, I accept. Next. Next. Basically I'm, I'm leaving it to the default. Next. I don't need to read the readme file finish now before i start to process the licensing i need to copy two files secure crt and helper copy now questions how i have gotten this when you are downloading the secure crt from the vendike.com website when you extract that zip file these files will be there automatically so again copying secure crt and license helper copy and now i need to go to the root directory of my machine so this pc and I need to go to the program file. Let me check here. Here you go. Van Dyke software. Secure CRT. Now I'll paste it here. Yes, I will replace this. Continue. Okay. Now I will go to the readme text where there is my license here. And this is the readme text. I need one of this information. I'm not sure which one is going to work. We'll try both. Here is Secure CRT 7.1. I don't have the latest version. This is the path where Secure CRT will store all its configuration. Hit OK. Enter license data. Let me find this information. I have two profiles, so let's try the first one first. Let me copy this. Copy, copy. Let me see. My keyboard is on here in this machine. Yes, I have to turn this on. So copy copy serial number and license key and issue date. so basically all information has been copied to my clipboard now let's find if that works name is owner i guess company's word next serial number is this license key is this next issue date i'm going to leave this empty so the license has been accepted and after that the first page i got in the secret CRT is this one so in my office campus i'm trying to connect to my main layer 3 switch or core switch so in that case the host name will be the ip address of that core switch so in my case So by default it says port 22 and it is referring to the SSH secure shell to establish a secure login session and I just pasted the username here let's hit connect now secure CRT is registering all this credential as I'm doing it for the first time for the SSH session I'm gonna hit accept and save now it is asking me for the password here is the password and now if you notice I have logged into that course switch in my campus now in order to change the font I can go to option session option then appearance font I can choose the font style and the size for now I'm going to choose 16 okay okay so this is how you're going to change you can also change the background you just have to spend some time and play with this session setting if you want to remote into another device telnet or SSH you will simply go to the file quick connect and here you will put your IP address ID and password and hit connect thank you for watching my video if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer.